My name is Jim McKeon, and today we're going to talk about collecting money after you receive a judgment against someone. All right. So oftentimes people will come to me and say, I want to sue someone. They owe me some money. And almost always during that initial conversation, I ask them, does this person have any money they can actually pay you? Are, they, are we going to sue them and get a judgment against them and you're never going to collect a dime of it? And if they say, well, they don't have any money necessarily, but they have a job. Okay, that's something I can work with. So the two main ways to collect money after you receive a judgment, if a defendant does not pay that money voluntarily, are a bank levy and a wage garnishment. So let's walk through those, okay? So say you get a judgment for $10,000 against somebody. And there's not just $10,000 in the back of the courtroom where the judge is going to say, okay, here's your check for $10,000. You then have to go, it's your responsibility to go and get that money from the defendant if they don't voluntarily pay it, which they oftentimes don't. So what you can do is file with the court, if you know where they work, a wage garnishment. And if they keep that job, the court will send a wage garnishment to their employer and say, hey, this person owes money to such and such. Start taking up to 25% of their wages and send it to the court. And then we will send that money to the person it's owed to. Okay. So that's how a wage garnishment works. And as long as they keep that job, that money will keep getting taken out of their check automatically, sent to the court, and then sent to you. Another option is a bank levy. If you know where they have money in a bank account, you can file a bank levy and the court, again, will go and notify the bank, hey, this person who has a bank, a bank account at your bank owes money to this other person take all the money up to the amount that's owed out of that bank account and send it to us. Okay. Well, if they don't have much money in there and you don't get to know ahead of time, then it may not cover the judgment. A bank levy is a one-time thing. It's not an ongoing uh, collection effort like a wage garnishment is. Those are the two most common ways to go after people through the court system for money. Now, there are other ways through harassing letters, those kind of things, seizing property, foreclosing on homes, those kind of things. But those are the two simplest, easy ways to try to collect money after a judgment, a bank levy and a wage garnishment on lower amounts. And I say lower in a few thousands of dollars. You can find out more about this legal issue and other legal issues by going to my website, attorney-knoxville.com. You can listen to my podcast, In Session with Jed McKeon in the iTunes store. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. You can also view my other YouTube videos.